What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking a Nike Air Max 1 86 Big Bubble Air Max Day. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking a Nike Air Max 1 86 Big Bubble, and these are coming in pretty much calling Air Max Day, right? Okay, now pretty much this shoe definitely kind of caught me off guard, right? And it's definitely a lot to say, right? Okay, I think even if I butchered it a little bit, y'all know what I'm talking about. Hopefully, um, if you're definitely um, haven't done so already, definitely hit the like button, uh, sub to the channel if you're new. Of course, y'all know I make content about sneakers, just in case I didn't say that either. But here we are, we got an Air Max sneaker coming for Air Max Day. We got several coming, but I wanted to focus on this one specifically. Um, of course, we're gonna be uh, keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering a basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, Air Max Day, if you haven't been living under a rock, I believe it's gonna be March 26th, right? Okay, now, I know March 22nd, we actually got the Sports Blue Big Bubble 86 joint, all right, okay? Last year, we had got like the Sport Red colorway, which I ended up picking those up. Now, the reason I didn't pick up the Sports Blue is because, oh, honestly, like, I didn't know they was really dropping it until like I looked at my phone, they were already there, and I think my size technically has sold out before I even tried to cop, and I probably could put in the footwork and probably grab them, but I don't know if you guys caught on to anything, and it's kind of like, me kind of making up for not dropping the sports blue big bubbles on the y'all know i would have dropped it on thursday just to keep it 100 but i didn't right okay so here we are it's kind of like this is kind of like a two for one right now but that shoe obviously is the what i got it from it right and this is what i kind of told any sold out discord shameless plug the sport red colorway was pretty much for the men back in the day and then we got the sport blue which technically was catered to the ladies now if you notice they had like a women exclusive colorway you know a women exclusive sizing but it did extend into like men sizes all the way up to i think like size 15 but don't quote me on that but i'm almost positive but they did the women sizing first so you had to pay attention to make sure you selected their correct size to convert it over to the man size right okay we also had to explain that to somebody in the sold out discord not taking shots to anybody you got to learn somewhere so i'm glad that i'm able to know because i probably would have made the mistake back in the day right okay but here we are now we got a air max day version now this one looks like a mixture of sport blue and a bolt colorway they got the bolt at the bottom which basically to me is just like a voltage green i can't think of thinking like um what am i looking up rays right i think of rays whenever i see this kind of colorway but we got that and to be honest at first glance i was kind of like eh, maybe i'm not right okay now retailing these are going to be 150 dollars right okay and of course you know the kid glance at the resale price and right now look like they're averaging 260 dollars and up depending on the size now this is where i come in to say all this for this video i feel like this shoe is like the quote unquote man's version that we're gonna get this year because they got that voltage on there and this is kind of similar because these i think are gonna be for the fellas not saying ladies can't wear them you just got to pay attention whenever you're selecting your size right okay and that's what i'm trying to get at because one of the questions people also brought up is like hey man even though these are women and i'm talking about the sport blues now i hope you guys are paying attention and keeping up because i know i'm all over the place I'm not saying y'all are slow i'm saying that hey i am literally all over the place in this video but one of the questions brought up was like hey man this is a women's shoe is okay if i wear them like sure why not you know i've got some women exclusive sneakers in my collection because i can fit them right okay it's for whoever wants to wear them but now i feel like this one i say all to say for this sports blue slash voltage or we will just say the air max day version for 2024 um if what nike wants to call it i feel like this is like that quote unquote man version now i have seen on the resale market i remember kwame posted it posted and sold out discord as well that we seen them going as high as 500, but now they're back down to reality. And I think as we get close to that release date, they're probably gonna sit right at like 260, probably 250, worst case scenario. But um, yeah, say all to say, like I am in the market for a 
new gym sneakers so this could be that so for the kid if you guys haven't figured out these are going to be a drip for the kid not a bad shoe but i will not pay resale for it because i know what i'm going to do for that shoe um as a person who's worked out in the sport uh red colorway big bubble i'm gonna say this that comfortability is a little slightly oversold if you ask me because i'm i'm flat-footed i know and i work out in them joints but still definitely a good statement though and definitely still workout worthy but is it the best shoe I would say I would consider I want to work on it? No. You know what? I'm just going to leave that. But overall, for the kid, these will be a drip. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. We'll be going at these on March 26th, retailing at $150. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.